Hey, so today I just want to talk about Mika in toothpaste. Uh, so what is Mika and what does it do when you add it as an ingredient into toothpaste? Um, rather than me explaining, I think it's easier if I just show you what it does. So here I have a three Sensodyne Pro Enamel toothpastes. Um, this very first one, the multi-action one, this one does have Mika in there. If we look in the ingredients. Uh, Mika right there okay and this is the only one that has it the other two I'll show you um, this is the daily protection if you look in the ingredients there is no Mika in here okay and kind of the same thing with the the fresh breath as well right you can look in the ingredients and there is no Mika in there all right so I'm just gonna take out all of these toothpastes and I'm gonna show you what Mika does to the toothpaste all right, so this is the first one, the daily protection. All right, so I'm gonna put it on the left side right here. All right, so this is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel daily protection without Mika. And then we'll move on to the next one. This is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel uh, Fresh Breath. All right, and then I'm gonna put it on the other side. Okay. Right, so that's basically what um, non Mika toothpastes kind of look like. Okay, and then now we're going to look at what a Mika toothpaste looks like. So this one, the, this one, the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Multi Action does have Mika. All right, so I'll put it right in the middle just so you can kind of um, compare. It's a little bit hard to see, but if you, if we could kind of get it to focus, um, it actually does look more shimmery. Like there's a there's like a shimmeriness to it, right? So I'll kind of focus on the one on the left now, so you kind of see. So so this one is more smooth and white and opaque looking. Okay, and I'll kind of focus on the right one, right? So this one is also smooth and white looking as well but the, the the Mika one though if you actually right there you could kind of see do you kind of see like those little little sparkles in there so basically what what Mika does is it adds um, glimmer or shimmer or, or sparkles to the, the toothpaste okay so Mika is is a natural mineral um, you can find it in some toothpastes, so when you add it in, you, you get it to kind of sparkle and, and glimmer a little bit. If you can kind of see the, those little, little spots in there right now, right, it makes it makes it sparkle. Uh, where you will also kind of find Mika is actually in a lot of cosmetic products, like uh, like eyeshadow and like blush. So that is the mineral that kind of gets it to, to sparkle. So that is one of the purpose for Mika in toothpaste. The other one is that it since it is a mineral it does have um, some abrasiveness to it and it does feel a little gritty um, and what that does it, it helps you kind of remove stains from your teeth okay so it, it will be kind of like a scrubbing action when you brush with the toothpaste it helps to kind of scrub uh, you know the discolorations and, and and stains from from your food um, off of your enamel right so that is basically what Mika does okay the first one is that it adds a glimmer and shimmer and sparkles to your toothpaste and then number two is that it does act as a mild natural uh, whitening abrasive all right and that's it for uh, Mika and toothpaste